Have you ever wondered how simple scraps of wood, branches or nutshells can be transformed into small cylinders capable of heating entire homes? That's pellets, a biofuel that's gaining increasing popularity for being economical, safe and environmentally friendly. We'll show you, step by step, how it's made, what materials are used, what its advantages are compared to traditional fuels, and why it has become one of the most widely used energy alternatives today. When we look at a pellet in our hand, what we see is just a small compact cylinder, about two or three centimeters long and a few millimeters thick. But behind this seemingly simple piece lies an entire industrial or artisanal process that seeks to transform plant waste, agricultural residue, or wood remains into a clean, uniform source of energy that is very easy to handle, store, and transport. To truly understand the importance of pellets and everything they represent, it's necessary to pause for a moment and review from the beginning how they are produced and why they have managed to establish themselves as one of the most widely used energy options in Europe, America and many other regions of the planet. We're not talking about a circumstantial innovation or a passing fad that will disappear over time. On the contrary, it's a solid and growing alternative that responds to the very specific needs of our time, the search for more economical, safe and, above all, environmentally friendly fuels. Pellets have gained ground precisely because they combine two qualities that are rarely found together, energy efficiency and environmental sustainability. In European countries such as Germany, Italy, Austria and Spain, where heating is essential during the winter, its use has expanded significantly, often replacing heating oil or traditional firewood. Similarly, in the Americas, both in the United States and Latin America, more and more families and businesses are discovering its advantages over conventional systems that are more expensive or more polluting. This growth does not emerge from nowhere. It is based on a well-established industrial technology that utilizes waste from the forestry and agricultural industries, transforms it into a compact, high-performance product, and makes it available to consumers in a practical and easy-to-store format. Thus, pellets become a sustainable energy solution, aligned with the demands of a world seeking to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels, lower heating costs, and at the same time reduce polluting emissions. The raw material that gives rise to the pellet can vary depending on the region, availability, and the type of biomass that is to be used. Small diameter logs, branches, bark, pruning remains, olive stones, nutshells, cereal straw, sawdust from sawmills and, in general, any plant byproduct that can be crushed and dried until reaching the optimal conditions for being pressed, which makes the pellet a clear example of the circular economy because it converts what was previously considered waste into a high-value energy input. In the most technologically advanced industrial processes, they begin with debarking the wood, a fundamental stage because if the bark is added in excess, the percentage of ash will increase during combustion, which reduces efficiency and can damage the equipment. But far from being discarded or thrown away, this bark is used in boilers that produce the hot gases that later feed the drying trommels, which means that the system itself feeds back and avoids waste, fulfilling the premise of not generating useless waste, but rather taking advantage of every fraction of material. After removing the bark, the logs pass to a chipping line that converts them into shavings, which in turn are further reduced in a first green mill, giving rise to small particles that already resemble sawdust. And from here the critical step is drying, because the biomass must lose moisture to around 10% or less. Otherwise, the final pellet would fall apart or burn poorly, generating smoke, soot and poor performance. Drying takes place in large rotating drums called trommels, where hot air produced by the combustion of the bark and other residues circulates, thus completing a circuit of maximum energy efficiency. Once the material is now dry, it is passed to a second mill that further pulverizes the particles until they are ready for the key stage, pressing. In cylindrical dye presses with narrow holes, the dried sawdust is subjected to extremely high pressure and temperatures exceeding 100 degrees Celsius, which causes the lignin present in the wood, a natural polymer that acts as glue, to soften and function as an internal adhesive, binding the fibers without the need for chemicals or artificial additives, hence why pellets are considered a 100% natural product. The result of this operation is the well-known small, homogeneous, dense and smooth-surfaced cylinders, which are automatically cut to the desired length and then cooled to consolidate their shape. 
They are then transferred to storage silos, from where they can be distributed in bulk by tanker trucks or packaged in sacks of different sizes, the most common being 15 kilo sacks, very practical for domestic consumption, and big bags or super sacks for large consumers. This entire industrial circuit guarantees that the resulting pellet meets international quality standards that certify not only its calorific value, but also its safety and low emission levels, which is vital for market acceptance. On the other hand, when the process is carried out in smaller facilities or with rudimentary technologies, the method changes slightly but retains the essence. Branches, pruning remains or bark are collected, crushed to a size almost similar to sawdust, dried using more basic systems, ensuring that the humidity is reduced to the necessary level, then mixed with a little water to facilitate compaction, and finally pressed in simpler matrices, obtaining cylinders that, while they may not be as uniform as industrial ones, fulfill the function of serving as fuel for homes or small rural communities. After the artisanal pressing, the pellets are selected. Any defective ones are removed by sieving and packaged in the same way, always taking care that they remain dry because humidity is the great enemy of this material. Now, beyond how it is produced, the important thing is to understand why the pellet has gained so much popularity. The explanation lies in its balance between price, efficiency and sustainability. It is a much cheaper fuel than electricity, diesel or liquefied gas, capable of generating savings ranging from 30% to 50% in heating. But at the same time, it is a safe product because it does not produce explosions, does not generate unpleasant odours, its combustion is stable and predictable, and it also emits a much lower amount of carbon dioxide than fossil fuels, thus contributing to mitigating climate change. Another advantage worth highlighting is that pellets being made from forestry and agricultural waste help keep forests and fields clean, reducing the accumulation of combustible material and therefore decreasing the risk of fires, which adds an extra environmental benefit to the already evident economic and energy savings. They are also easy to store and transport since they come in practical 15 kilo sacks or in large bags that facilitate logistics for both individuals and companies and their high density means they take up less space than firewood while maintaining a much higher calorific value. In terms of performance, well-made pellets are estimated to reach 95% efficiency in modern boilers, meaning that almost all of the fuel's energy is transformed into useful heat, something difficult to achieve with traditional firewood. Speaking of user experience, it's worth highlighting that pellets produce less ash, less smoke and less maintenance, resulting in cleaner, longer-lasting stoves and boilers. Nowadays, not all pellets are created equal. Different types of pellets are available on the market, and the main way to classify them is through official certifications that guarantee their origin and quality. These seals aren't just a detail on the packaging, they represent an assurance that the raw material used comes from sustainably managed sources, that the production process has been carried out under strict control standards, and that the final result meets international safety and performance requirements. Thanks to these certifications, consumers can rest assured that they are purchasing a reliable product, free of harmful contaminants and above all environmentally friendly. The importance of this classification system lies in the fact that it not only ensures the energy efficiency of the pellets, but also protects the end user and the heating equipment in which they are used. A certified pellet guarantees that it will burn cleaner, that it will not produce excessive amounts of smoke or ash, and that it will not damage the boiler or stove. In this way, we are not only talking about an ecological issue, but also a practical and economic one. A quality pellet translates into longer equipment life and better use of each kilo of fuel. In this sense, we can affirm that the pellet goes far beyond being a simple cylinder of pressed wood. Each pellet represents the consolidation of a different energy model, where previously valueless waste is utilised, where industrial processes are optimised to reduce waste and where the commitment to sustainability becomes a central factor. By choosing certified pellets, consumers are not only seeking heat for their homes, but also supporting a system based on the circular economy, reducing emissions and building a more responsible energy future. Pellet fuel has become one of today's most attractive alternatives for those seeking an efficient, affordable and environmentally friendly heat source. It not only represents a practical and economical solution for homes, offices or larger facilities, but also provides the peace of mind of using a renewable and safe resource.
This combination of advantages explains why the demand for pellets continues to rise and everything indicates that it will continue to expand in the coming years. The global context is also driving this growth. The price of electricity and fossil fuels continues to rise, forcing many families and businesses to reconsider their energy consumption options. Added to this is a growing environmental awareness, with more and more people prioritizing the use of clean energy sources that contribute to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and at the same time foster greater energy independence from non-renewable resources. In this way, pellet fuel is not only positioned as an alternative fuel, but as a true transition strategy toward a more sustainable model. Its use helps optimize forest resources by utilizing waste that would otherwise be wasted, contributes to reducing pressure on polluting energy sources, and also offers an excellent cost-benefit ratio for users. For all these reasons, the future of this biofuel appears secure, and its role in the energy mix will continue to strengthen in a scenario where efficiency and sustainability are increasingly valued.